Hey everybody, good morning, good morning. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Hey. Hey everybody, it's Miss True Redbone. If you didn't know, well now you know. Thanks for clicking on my video because you didn't have to. So you are appreciated for that. Ladies, I want to talk to y'all today. This is for my ladies. Not that I have a lot of men subscribers, but I do have quite a few. But this is for my, my beautiful women out there, okay? I want to talk about uh, self-love and self-care. Um, first, let me say, if ain't nobody told you today that you are beautiful, you are amazing, you can do anything that you set your mind to and that you're willing to work hard for, I'm telling you today, Miss True. It's coming from me. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the first to say it. You know, you are so beautiful. You are amazing. Don't let anybody ever doubt. Don't let anybody ever make you doubt the beauty that you have in yourself. Um, let me do the positive affirmation first, okay? All right, here we go. All right, pay attention. Listen. You are so beautiful. And I don't mean the way that you style your hair. Mm -mm, that ain't got nothing to do with it. Or the clothes you choose to wear. Whether your skin is dark or fair, you're beautiful. Yes, you are. Inside and out. Never you doubt that about yourself. Again, one more time, y'all. Listen now. Pay attention. If you are so beautiful, and I don't mean the way that you style your hair or the clothes that you choose to wear, whether your skin is dark or fair, you're beautiful. Yes, you are, inside and out. Never you doubt that about yourself. You are beautiful, y'all. You don't need a man to tell you that you're beautiful. You don't need me to tell you that you're beautiful. This is something that you need to radiate in, from the inside out. Do you know that you can be the most beautiful woman in the world? You can have um, top-notch clothes. You can be driving the best car in the world, have the most beautiful home on the block. That family is so dope. You could have the makeup just fierce hair to the t dressed to the nines but if you are an ugly person on the inside guess what <laughs> you ugly on the outside it radiates you know this goes back to the conversation i have when i always say you have to take care of you first in order to be able to take care of anybody anybody else you know around you if you don't love you if you don't feel if you don't know your self-worth if you don't know your own beauty that makes you doubt yourself on a daily basis i'm not talking about materialistic things um i'm talking about you as a woman taking care of you y'all know we wear many hats we have to do you know, so much for other people, but, and, and we let ourselves go sometimes. We make ourselves last. We're all, we, we often make ourselves last on the totem pole, but you have to take care of you mentally, physically, emotionally, health wise, overall, in order to radiate, you know beauty for yourself not for anybody else i'm not saying getting dressed up for your man but i'm gonna talk about that too i'm not saying you gotta do this for your man and be you know just so he no you have to do it for you first and then he will reap the benefits of your self-love of your beauty if you know what i mean if that makes sense to anybody 
I, I'm talking about this because I just saw, you know, I'm out handling some business before I go to work and I was in the store and I saw somebody in the store with a, you took, wait, let me make a disclaimer, not judging. I'm not judging anybody. Who am I to judge? I'm just stating facts and I'm just, I, I'm explaining. I, I have to tell y'all how my mama raised us, you know, um, but I just saw somebody in the grocery store with their pajamas on, house shoes on, hair scarf on. The way that I was raised is, you know, you kind of put your best foot forward. Um, there wasn't a day, even if my mom was a stay-at-home mom, she got up got dressed did her makeup whatever she planned on putting on that day and she handled her business around the house and taking care of kids she did that for her not my daddy um it makes you feel better it makes you move differently when you get up and you feel like you the ish you you the bomb can't nobody tell you nothing about you you know, you got to have your, you got to have confidence. And I know that's hard for some people. I don't care if you 100 pounds. I don't care if you 600 pounds. You got to take care of you. And I don't mean that you go out and have to buy, you know, the most stylish clothes, expensive stuff. No, but you do have to do stuff for you. You have to at least every blue moon go out and buy you a shirt. Go out and buy you some cute earrings. You know, whatever you need to do to build up your own self-confidence, do it. And again, it don't have to be materialistic things, but, you know, when you feel beautiful, you radiate a whole different type of vibe. You know, I feel good when I get up, you know, wash my face comb my hair maybe i'll put on makeup today maybe i won't but regardless of if i do or if i don't if i get up and get dressed comb my hair put on my earrings girl you can't tell me nothing about true i don't need nobody to uh to to secondhand my emotion tell me how i feel i got this you know what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about <laughs> Y'all, y'all know I'm hyper. I had my chronic. I'm in it to win it, you know. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> so, my mama, my mama always taught me and my sister that you do not walk around looking like a bum. I mean, and and, and, be, and, and because it doesn't make you feel good. It doesn't make you feel like a a, a woman. It don't put you on your a game. She never believed, my mama always taught us that we do not walk around our, our significant others in our hair scarves. You know, it, it might happen for the first half of the morning, but you get up and you show the world that you have so much more to offer once you snatch that scarf off, you know, put on a, you know, a cute little shirt, a little something, something for yourself, you know, but she always taught us to take care of ourselves. You don't let, you don't walk. I'm telling you, my mama and my daddy are still together. I think they going on 50 some years, y'all. And I'm lying. No, I'm not. 50 some years. Maybe just 50. But she always taught us to take care of ourselves. You don't walk around your significant other looking any kind of way. Um, cause guess what? If, 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 if you not putting it on them or if you not showing them, you know, that you care about your own self-worth, guess what? He can go find some, or she can go find somebody else that can do it for him. You got to love you first in order for somebody else to feel loved. Ladies, we got to take care of ourselves. And I don't mean that means you got to go get your nails done. No, because I don't get my nails done hardly. I get them done when I want to. I go through phases, but it, it ain't a must for me. We need to put our positive energy out into the world. And the way that I do that is by putting my best foot forward for me. That's getting up, washing my tail before I leave the house, you know, combing my hair, getting dressed. And I don't, you know, I don't buy the most, I don't buy neighboring clothes. I'm sorry, I got kids. 
they got I got college to pay for things like that you know a new home I'm not worried about name brand clothes or a name brand purse I'm not putting anybody down that you know that does that that's dope if it, you know that's your vibe your energy keep it up do what you do for you but for for true you know as long as I can get up look cute throw on a little something something you know comb my hair maybe i'll put on makeup maybe i won't but my confidence will radiate through that it will spew positive vibes and energy out on the world ladies we got this we got this like i said i don't care if you 100 pounds or 600 pounds you got this get up comb your hair wash your face if you want to put on that makeup do that there if you want to i mean get up get dressed don't don't leave the house looking any kind of way because you know when that had that be the one time you see somebody that you can't stand and you looking like a scrub <laughs> it don't take much you know it, it don't take much at all let me give y'all a, a few positive affirmations a few positive things that you could say to yourself on a daily basis um, look in the mirror. Say, I love my face in all my features. <laughs> I love my freckles. I mean, we all have our own beauty. We all have our unique features that makes us us. I am at peace with my body in form. Yeah, your girl is thicker than a snicker, but guess what? I'm good with that. I'm confident in my skin. I loving and, and and if you feel if you feel that your weight is causing you to not feel so confident, do something about it. Take care of you. Get on a if if you feel like you need to diet, diet. But guess what? You can still be cute through the motions. You can still you know get up, get yourself clean, get your body together, get your hair together so you can have confidence while you're trying to lose that weight. I love living in this exquisite female body. I do. I love being a woman. I do. I love being a girl. I love shopping. I love this. I love that. Feel confident. Be confident in your own skin, y'all. I adore my curves, y'all. I got a lot of them. I'm shaped like like an hourglass. It's just a big hourglass. <laughs> I am sexy and attractive just as I am. You are. So that's my um that's what I wanted to talk about today, ladies. Take care of you for you. Be comfortable in your own skin no matter what. We have to make ourselves first. We have to take care of ourselves first in order to be able to do anything for anybody else. You're not being selfish. I used to think I was being selfish when I would go out and buy me something. I did. Because I knew I had a family to take care of. But I also knew that I needed to put my best foot forward. And I'm walking out into the world. I can't just go looking any kind of way. Not for my own confidence. That's for me. You know what I'm saying? Do what you can do in your budget. You know, I'm not saying go out and, and break the bank. You can go to Rainbow. You can go to Walmart and find you a cute little something, something just to, you know, here and there, once a month or once every two months, whatever you can handle. But self-care, self-love, y'all. We got to take care of us first. If ain't nobody told you today that you are beautiful, you are amazing, you can do anything. It's coming from me again. I mean it. I'm telling you, sharing is caring. Tell somebody else about it. Make them feel better about themselves also. Think positive because positive things are happening in our lives. You women, let's be strong. Let's stand up. Let's unite. Let's 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 build each other up instead of tear, tearing each other down. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend to come over here and see Miss True Red Bone. I am not a secret. Pass me around. I love you guys. You are so dope. You are so amazing. And I'll talk to you later. See y'all.